Hi guys, in today's You Water Try video, I'm gonna show you how to make this paper flower crown. You're gonna need coffee filters. If you don't have coffee filters, you can use um, tissue paper, but we are going to color the coffee filters. So you wouldn't need to color the tissue paper necessarily if you didn't want to. Um, you're gonna need washable markers because we're going to spray the uh, marker on the coffee filter to kind of like tie dye it a little bit. You need a spray bottle or something to drip water onto the coffee filters, uh, scissors to cut some like petals on the coffee filter. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can, you need scissors for that. A hole punch, uh, you'll need a strip of paper like this to attach the flowers to, and then a hole punch to punch holes to poke them through. And then tape or some type of adhesive. You could use glue if you wanted, but you'd have to wait for it to dry to attach the flowers to the paper. And then I use a pipe cleaner, but if you have ribbon or yarn or something like that to tie the two ends together so you can wear it on your head like that. All right, let's start crafting. Okay, you're gonna start with three coffee filters and fold them in half. Fold them in half again so it's like a triangle. And then you're gonna color on each side of the triangle using your washable markers. And we're gonna spray this with water so the colors will bleed. So you don't wanna use complementary colors next to each other like red and green, blue and orange, or purple and yellow because then they'll bleed together and make brown. Unless you want a brown flower. Um, but if you don't, keep that in mind. So Next, you're gonna spray your coffee filter on both sides with water, and you can see the colors start to bleed together. When those are dry, it'll take a little bit. You can cut the petals. You're gonna cut little triangles out of the rounded side of your coffee filter. And then when you open it up, it'll look like a starburst. And then layer three coffee filters together, and then you just kind of bunch them together. At the bottom, and twist it to make a stem, and then you cut a hole and stick it through the paper that you're using for your headbands. You stick it through and then just kind of fold it over and you can tape it down like that and kind of fluff it up to see how it looks. Um, I would make the flower and then sit it next to the other flowers to figure out where to put your hole instead of just punching holes willy-nilly. I did that the first time and then they were way too far apart and you could see the white paper and behind it and that was not a good time. Um, so you make however many flowers you want. I put just white coffee filters in the middle of my flowers, but you don't have to, you can make them all colorful. When you get done attaching all of your flowers, you can hold it up to your head and measure how long a ribbon or whatever you need to fit around your head. I use pipe cleaners, it was way easier because they just twist around, you don't have to actually tie it. So then if it's too short, I made mine too short to begin with, it's easy to unattach it and reattach it with just a twist. I hope you enjoyed making this craft. I really did. I thought it was super fun and easy and I'll probably just wear this all weekend because I love it a lot. You can, uh, if you want to share your creations with us, you can post them to our Facebook page or tag us on Instagram at, at otterbinpl. And I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.